Hello, my name is Sarah Burke, and I'm on board the Beringer Ingelheim Science Quest Mobile Laboratory. Today we're going to be learning about acid rain. To do this experiment, you will need vinegar, water, chalk, a nail, and clear plastic cups. To begin our experiment, to pick up the chalk and make a drawing in the end of it with the nail. Then fill one of the plastic cups with water, approximately an inch, inch and a half worth. Do the same thing with the vinegar. Next, place the end of the chalk with the drawing inside the water or vinegar solution. It will take a few minutes, but watch as the reaction occurs. Do you notice anything different between the water and the vinegar solutions? After a minute or two, take your chalk out and take a look at it and compare the one that was sitting in the water to the one that was sitting in the acid. Make observations. You should notice that the one that was in the vinegar solution has been eaten away or there's less chalk. Now feel the difference between the chalk that was in the acid versus the chalk that was in the water. Do you notice any differences in how they feel and the residue that might be appearing on your finger? You can also play with the chalk and see the chalk that was in the acid is much easier to break than the chalk that was not in the acid. So what does this experiment teach us about acid rain? Many buildings are built of a material called limestone, and limestone is made essentially from calcium carbonate, the same material that's used to make chalk. Acid rain is acidic, but it's not as acidic as vinegar, but it will slowly eat away at statues. You might notice as you walk around your town, some of the statues do appear like they've kind of been eaten, similar to the way that your chalk was eaten by the vinegar.